Hi, today we're going to be talking about how you can leverage Zoom Info's Enrich Premium product to automate contact acquisition when important triggers occur in Salesforce. This scenario is really designed to help customers centralize their data acquisition strategy and automate ex their go-to-market strategy. Some feedback we've heard over the last few years is our data is fantastic, but sellers can be a little bit overwhelmed with all the different vendors, softwares, technologies that they're using. So while our data can be extremely valuable, having to rely on sellers to take the manual action to go to ZoomInfo's database can leave a little bit of room for improvement and can lead to a little bit of unnecessary manual intervention. Enter ZoomInfo's Enrich Premium product, which lets you set up customized logic so when a relevant event happens in Salesforce, maybe it's an account getting created that's in your ICP or perhaps an opportunity goes from disqualified to qualified. Or maybe we use ZoomInfo's intent data to pick up that a company that you're working with or a company that is an active customer is shopping for your product or for market alternatives. Rather than wait for the seller to identify that information, we can use ZoomInfo's Enrich Premium product to automatically react and customizably provide you with your buying committee directly into Salesforce immediately as that relevant event happens. Think about the amount of time saved and the amount of buyers you'll be able to have directly in your Salesforce environment for your sellers to focus on what they should be doing, selling, as opposed to having to hunt for the relevant contacts to reach out to at those accounts showing interest in your business. Now let's take a look at how this works within the Zoom Info and Rich Premium application. Now in my case, I'm going to navigate to the Zoom Info Prevent section where we can set up a number of tasks around how we want to react to data within Salesforce. Now in this case, I have a task set up so when an account gets created in my Salesforce instance, I'm going to do a number of things. The first thing I need to do is I need to make sure that that record is getting enriched with all of the relevant data from Zoom Info and potentially my other data vendors. So in this section, we're applying very customized logic to ensure all of the relevant data from Zoom Info is ending up in the right spots in Salesforce. Now, this is only part of the puzzle. Once we provide you with our data, we need to make sure it's speaking your language, make sure the data is in the right format, and also make sure the data that we're providing you with is segmented and categorized to meet your business automations. Once we have this set up, we can perform systematic duplication checks to make sure we're not making any unnecessary duplicates. Now, this is fantastic. We're helping enrich data upon creation, but what we haven't gotten to is that acquisition of net new records. If we look to the events section, I have an event set up saying, on top of you enriching my account Zoom Info when they get created, I also want to find records related to that account. And what does that mean? That means people in my buying committee, which I've identified using Zoom Info filters, including job title, management level, department, as well as an accuracy score of 75 and above. Now we can see in Ringlead all these configurations we have to ensure we're really being systematic with the data enrichment, data manipulation, and data deduplication. Let's take a look at what this would present itself as if I was a rep in Salesforce. Now in my scenario, I have a fairly basic sales model. I really will sell to any account that gets created. So in this case, I'm gonna make an account for Nike. In my scenario, I'm gonna make it manually. I do wanna note, we can trigger based off of any creations or update events within Salesforce. So in my case, all we have is we know their company's name is Nike, their website is nike.com. We don't know anything about their funding, we don't have them segmented, we don't know anything about their information. In the background, Ringlead is currently enriching it, deduping it, and also routing and adding contacts here. So now, not only do we know it's Nike, we have their industry, we have their revenue, we know their tech stack. And I've used that segmenting functionality to put them into a relevant tier, to put them into a relevant territory. And while this is also going on, I'll give the page a quick refresh. We'll see now all of the relevant contacts in my ICP immediately added to the Nike account without me needing to take any manual intervention.